This is the wrong way to do diagnosis, to assume your guesses are correct, but I was right. Yep, there it goes out, and all we did was jumper it. So, that tells me that what's bad, what should be bad, is the switch. The switch is what's doing nothing. Because your jumper the only two that are good. One. Two. Two. Three. Two. Four. Two. Welcome to the D.E. Nichols channel. Autobotter.com. Okay. So, three screws later, and a spring that slid down, down to my foot, we see these contacts are very corroded and we also see that what the trigger touches is corroded as well so I'm thinking that's what the problem is okay it's clean and those two wires are clean now too it's just a little sandpaper and now we're going to clean the rest of it out to prevent arcing in the future moment of John's air and it's clean we activated the top two, top right two of these, the wire fed. So we knew it was the switch. Well, I thought hey, it could be the wire anywhere in between. And then John noticed this little split, which could either have been from setting the welder on it because of all my traveling around with it, or a rat. Rats eat wires all the time. So we've got to solder that back together. And I brought everything I need to do that. Okay, you want to use yours instead of mine? If you melt some solder onto the tip, it'll transfer heat into the workpiece better. Cool. Well, since your fingers are already there and mine are here, would you like to do the soldering? I'll try. We put a little of that flux on to clean the wire as it goes in. We're definitely going to use his because his is a 40 watt, mine's only 30, and I struggle with it. But as he explained, the wire I was using is plumber's, so it's actually too thick. This one's actually meant for electronic. There you go. Hopefully I didn't just melt through to it. Probably. It actually looks pretty bad. It, uh, forgive me, but yeah, it does. Um, There's not enough room to really get behind it and get it melted. To do it, we need to... Should we try to heat it to get it off and go deeper? Um, what I would do is split it up this way a little bit. Split so a little more? Can, yeah. Okay. So we'll come back after that. Now that my nose is turned on the camera again, <laughs> that was in my blooper video. Or at the end, has a blooper. Be patient, there's a lot of wire there to heat, and it's cold room. He's worried that it would arc into the next one. So he managed to separate it out. Oh, now there are two. Yeah, you didn't twist the wires together well good enough. Well, I had to set them on top of each other. Um, according to NASA, when you uh, weld them side by side, it's stronger than if you twist them. Hmm. I did not know that. So I always try to set them side by side unless it's impossible for me to do it otherwise. I'm making this worse. That's to put over the work when we're done so it doesn't arc. I mean, it doesn't have to be that long. When you think about it, it goes from here to here. Mm -hmm. It's kind of silly that it's not internal to the unit in a way. 
you want me to try this time? Oh, here's what I'm looking for. Oh, I used an alligator clip the other day. Oh, you've got the fancy setup. That co salesman wanted to sell that to me for 30 bucks when I already spent $500 that day, so I said, I'll have to wait. I forget where I got this one from. Well, if we use this to set it up right, it'll hold both ends for us perfectly. I'm missing, a, I'm missing one of the alligator clips. Oh, so it can't. Still looks horrible. It does. And that's melted now. Well, that, yeah, it was melted before. Well, I could just try to add to it. Would that be totally wrong? Probably. <laughs> Here to the side. It's also kind of dubered, so we'll try to clean and retin, and then that's transferring more heat than it was before, it wouldn't smoke before. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Well, it doesn't help that we had the, the. It doesn't help that we had weight on it. Yeah. We we had it under weight. That whole thing was hanging. We need to use gravity for us, not against us. You know, I have some clips to where we don't we can uh, put two clamps on it instead. So we, it would give us more length back. That would be more NASA-like, to get them side by side like that. Yeah. Hey, do I really need my welding helmet for this? Probably not, because if you keep on... <laughs> you almost got the phone. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, so heat it again. I hope I didn't lose your alligator clip. Hmm? Hope I didn't lose your alligator clip. Hmm. If I did, I'll have a pile in the car for you. Well, it's huge, but I think that's bonded dish. Yeah, it's bulky, and that protectant's never going to go over. But it looks pretty good. I thought I was going to weld, but it was still broken. <laughs> That's what was hitting the camera. Thankfully, not the soldering iron. Okay, quick tape back together from Harbor Freight. He's got a heat gun, I don't. We were bored, so here we are. <laughs> Usually it takes a few minutes to heat those things up, right? No? Put your hand out. So I can fill it through the glove? Yeah, I can fill it through the glove. Okay. And these actually have quite a bit of heat protection. It's actually smoking already. It's smoking? Wow. So it's going to take the paint off. Yeah, that's hot. Because it felt as warm as when you blew it directly at my, my gloved hand. What did not work? <laughs> What's that? What did not work? Uh, we could test it before we keep taping it all up. Yeah. <laughs> I already got the tape out. It's not like it's three hours to get down in this wire. 
-mm. I did that the other day over and over again to get down to the wire. Not really. Uh, yeah, seriously, all day for one hour flag hour pay. They make this bracket on the Toyota Avalon mm -hmm. that snaps if you don't pull the bolts in the right order. It's a wire to the crank sensor. Oh, yeah, because I know the way to do it. Yeah, just doing something wrong. It's because they put it on an angle, it's weird. That's not right, I had it on the angle and thought I was wrong. Like I thought that other thing was done. Well, we'll see. Let's we'll see if this thing lights up now. Now, I won't record that because it'll destroy the camera. Alright, so a quick weld on it, which exploded because apparently an inner tie rod is not made out of mild steel. It might be galvanized or have magnesium in it or something, but it exploded on contact. But we know it works. That's the important thing. Thanks, John. Get out there and work on something.